welcome to Arts Talk TV. We're putting a spotlight on creativity. Hi, I'm Karina Lawrence from Arts Talk TV. We're here at the Brisbane Dance Festival and I'm lucky enough to be joined with a prima ballerina from the Australian Ballet. Please welcome Justine Summers. Hi. Hello. So, what was the experience like for you today teaching? Lovely to feel the energy in the room and yeah. the little eager faces ready to just um, pick up anything. So it's just a day of dance, you know? Absolutely, and so celebrating it's it. It's, yes. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so you studied um, with Avril Windsor when she was based in Melbourne and also at the Victorian College of the Arts. What's the moment that you remember that you take away from your training? I call myself an accidental ballerina. <laughs> it's like I hadn't set out to be a ballerina. I was just having an hour a week wow. in, a, in a church hall on the back of a chair, wow. um, six hours of gymnastics, and she just recommended, she says, I don't think I can do much more with Justine. Um, how about she audition for the Victorian College of the Arts in Melbourne? And I just thought it sounded exciting, like something like fame. I thought, oh, <laughs> living in a boarding school, we'd be dancing around the hallways, you know. So I went over and auditioned, not knowing what I was getting myself <laughs> in for, and I, I was accepted. Then when I moved to Melbourne, I was able to see my first ballet and I fell in love with it. I went to the theatre, I went, oh my gosh, they're making shapes, which is like gymnastics. Yeah. On, on the stage, um, there's music, the, the smell, the lights, the costumes. I was like, I would have been about 13, so I think I was a late, Wow. Bloomer in a way, but I think it kept me in good stead, like I didn't yeah. burn out. Today's world, it's very much, you know, do everything you can, as young as you can. And it just goes to show, you started later, but look at what you achieved from it. For 14 years, you were part of the Australian Ballet. That's right, yes, 14 or 15 years. Incredible. And I retired and went back for another year. Wow. And you've toured the world. Yes. Bangkok, Singapore, Italy, London, etc. What would you say, and I know it's a tricky one, is the most um, memorable experience? I got taken to the company at 17, so it was my first international travel. So it, that was an Asian tour, so it was Bangkok, Singapore, and I can't remember where it was now, but <laughs> it was just it's so eye-opening and yes. it's exciting. And But every tour was very exciting. I loved every moment in the company, from the quarter ballet through my soloist years, senior artist and principal. I loved every moment and I felt like you just learn your stagecraft as you go. Touring College of the Arts was love, you know, great training and then the Australian Ballet School was great training. Yes. Um, inspiring teachers. You do have the standout inspiring teachers yes, that definitely. do stick in your mind um, and the directors too. I had Anne Williams and then Dame Margaret Scott in the Australian Ballet School was just just beautiful. Yeah. And then I had Maina Gilgood in the company and you would just give your blood, sweat and tears. You have to have mentors like that that you look up to and believe in your craft. Yeah. Make you believe in your craft. And drive you. Yes. You're the patron for the Tasmanian Youth Classical Ballet Company and also the Australian Teachers of Dance. Mm -hmm. So what does, that, what does that feel like for you to be a patron for that? It's um, lovely to have that recognition. Um, you always feel like you will want to do more, yes. but I love to show up when I can and, and be there to encourage the, the kids to say, you know, it is beautiful, any art form that they choose. Yes. It's just, it's great to have that focus. Sometimes I think people know too much now, like social, like we yeah. did not have videos, no. DVDs, yeah. social media. It's frightening. Yeah. Um, so I went in there, totally yes. blind, and all you had it's to do really was just try hard. Yeah, try hard. Did it, everything was new and fresh, and did it? You know, yeah. I had nothing to compare. Yeah, all I had to do is I'm away from home. Just do your just, job. Yeah. Really, I feel like going through all the different ballets that you've done. <laughs> Manon is one of the ones I'm Menon most is, noted for. Yes, um, that was done on ABC simulcast. Yes, so you can actually probably still buy that on yes. the CD. Um, that was that was beautiful. I loved doing that with Stephen Heathcote. Yes. And I actually danced that with many international guest artists that Maina brought out for wow. me to dance with. Um, yes, Swan Lake. Swan Lake. So what's beautiful is becoming the different characters. Yes. I actually also love the contemporary works where you're just making beautiful shapes to yep. music on stage. But I do love the story ballets. Yes. Get a bit of acting in there. And yeah. And did you nat find that naturally? I did. Yes. It's just something that you adapt all those years through the quarter yes. ballet. Yes. Um, you, you, you work out what works and how much, how big you can make things or yeah. not make things, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. it's just stagecraft you learn over the years. But yes, it was something that I, I found just natural. But you just make it real. So you started out in the quarter ballet mm -hmm. um, once you transitioned into the Australian ballet. What was the process then for you to actually become a soloist and, 
it's, it's featured. Never, I never thought of actually ever becoming a principal dancer. It was just like, oh my gosh, I've, I'm getting paid for what I love to do. It was just like unbelievable. Because actually I didn't even finish at the Australian Ballet School. I didn't graduate. They took me from second year. Wow. So that happened before I even like was like, oh my gosh, I need a job at the end of this. It was like, I was asked if I'd like to join. I was like, of course, I'd love to join. And and I remember being so excited when I was suddenly first cast court of ballet. Not just second cast court of ballet, I was first cast court of ballet. Yeah. So I was on every night and just seeing the principals up there. And you learn, you learn from other dancers. You learn from the soloists, you learn from the principals and trying your hardest and not expecting those promotions. I think it's, it's very sad if that's all you're bent on, you know, it's like you're being in there, it's like, I'm, I'm really wanting that promotion. Yeah. You don't even think about it. They will reward you if they see it, recognised. Yes. And yeah, every 18 months I was lucky enough to actually be promoted. So obviously my hard work must have paid off. Absolutely. <laughs> but I just loved it. And I think that's the main thing. Yeah. To show that you love it. Yes. You have to love it. What does teaching ballet mean to you? It is lovely to be able to, all those things that you've learnt, all those teachers that have instilled things into you, you feel like you want to pass that on. Okay, what advice would you give to young children that are wanting to follow their ballet dreams? I would highly recommend dancing for any young or old child. If, it, if it's something that they feel like they need to do, yeah. why not? So we have a fun little segment on Arts Talk TV. It's called the Shutter Speed Challenge. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about creativity? It could be anything. It's the music, the movement, um, it can be lighting, um, visual effect. It's, it's all creation and to have all those things together, it makes a beautiful yeah. piece. Well, even if it's just one person moving in a room, but um, it's, it's magic. So it's it's creating essence. magic. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Who would you most like to meet? Back when I was doing gymnastics, I think my only idol was Na um, Nadia um, Comedy. Yes. She was my idol. I don't yes. think I ever had really a, a ballet idol. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Maybe Makarova, Natalia uh, Makarova. Yeah. Um, you've got Baryshnikov, who's amazing. Oh. My husband wow. presented them. All those wow. Yes. If you had to uh, find a colour to express creativity, what would the colour be that you would choose? Something warm, though mind you, blue and white aren't that warm, yeah. but I do like blue um, or white or mauve. Yeah, <laughs> multicolours. Multi what would you miss most about the arts if it wasn't around? That escapism. Mm -hmm. People need to be taken away from their grind of everyday life. That boredom, just checking in, doing what you have to do, come home. It's, it's the times of like, you know, war and um, horrible things that are happening. People need that escapism. Mm -hmm. Arts is very, very important. In one word, what does art mean to you? It means the fusion, all the different arts actually. You know, yeah. Dance, music, art Everything. scenery. Yeah. yeah. Justine, it has been such a pleasure talking with you. Lovely to meet you. So glad you could join us today on our Arts channel.